This is the XP Pen Artist 2nd Gen, the latest iteration of XP Pen's tablet. It is the first pen tablet out there I've seen that has 16,000 levels of pressure in the pen. Dang! How does it work? Let's check it out. Hello, my name is Brad. I review tech for creative professionals, and I have been reviewing tech for nine years. It's hard to believe. And back in the day when I started these drawing tablets, they kind of stunk. But the main thing that they advertised is they advertised the levels of pressure that you would get on a pen. Now, before I was reviewing a lot of these and using a lot of these, I thought, hey, that is a huge deal. But then when I used a pen that had a thousand levels versus a pen that had 2000 levels, I thought, Okay, I, I, that's hard to tell. And then when they went from 2,000 to 4,000, I was like, I seriously cannot tell the difference. And when we went from 4,000 to 8,000 again, it was like a human cannot tell how many levels of pressure. 16,000 levels of pressure. It's really cool to put in your pen. I'm glad that we've hit this point where the technology could be that sensitive. I wouldn't let that be the sole focus of this product. Now that's not to say this is a bad product. I actually like this product. XP Pen sent it to me for this review. Though my opinions are my own, my opinions are generally pretty positive. Let's start off by talking about this display. It's just under 14 inches corner to corner. This is a little bit bigger than some of the 13 inch displays you'll see out there. So you're getting some extra pixels and larger hit areas in many of the drawing programs you're using. This is a full HD display that's 1920 by 1080. That's not a ton of pixels, but honestly, at this smaller size, it's not horrible. The colors look good. The brightness looks good. This is a laminated display, so there's no space in between the glass and the screen below it. So you're not going to get that pen displacement you used to get on older tablets. It's also got a nice matte coating to it feels good to draw on. Also reduces glare from any lights you might have on your ceiling. The finish on this thing is really nice. It's clean, it's got squared off edges, even the recesses where the USB ports go in look really good. Same thing with like the brightness and power control button. The very bottom of the tablet is sloped just a little bit. This is for resting your hand so it's not sitting on one of the hard edges you might get on one of the sides. There's also these feet in the back. I, I like this. I don't set my tablets up at a really steep angle to draw with. So for me, just tilting it up a little bit with these feet is is really perfect. The one caveat here is this, this doesn't come with a stand. So if you do want to set it up at any other angle than the default one they have here, you're probably going to have to drop 30 or 40 bucks on something to do that for you. Check this out. They sent over this pen holder too, and this is neat. It's got like the click in the bottom and then it, it slides out and you can see your pen. It's pretty nice. You got some extra nibs in here along with the pen and they're providing also these textured felt tip nibs, which feel really good if you like a rougher feel when you're drawing. There's also a little USB dongle here. That's for the little remote that also comes in the package. Many products like this, especially XP products in the past, have had some kind of shortcut keys along the side of the tablet itself. Since they are going for a cleaner look here, they've opted for the shortcut remote that you can sit off to your side. And it's not bad. It's really lightweight. The buttons are, you know, they're buttons. It's got a little click wheel. It's got a nice click to it. It's, it's good. It works well. You can program the keys to anything you need. You know, it's a solid little shortcut remote. But now we need to get to the meat and potatoes of this. But before we do, I want to shout out to today's sponsor, JSOX. They sent me two things. Their OmniCase 2 Pro, a USB-C 12-in-1 storage dock, and their curved laptop stand. As you can see, they work really well together. The OmniCase is everything you need all in one place. It's perfect for anyone who works away from home and at home. It expands all your I.O., giving you a ton of additional ports. We're talking three USB-C ports, three USB-A, two HDMI, an Ethernet port, a TF card slot, an SD card slot, and a headphone jack. With all of that going on, it can support up to three 4K screens at once. And underneath that fancy lid is room for your memory cards. There's also all the connection accessories you may ever need. I'm gonna take this with me as I travel, so I will always have all the connections I need when I'm away from home. The stand looks great, and it can support any normal thin laptop. And the Omni case fits perfectly underneath. They have a Kickstarter going on right Right now where you can get the standard version or the pro version of the Omni case 2. Check out my link down below in the description to learn more. All right, let's start by taking a look at this pen. A little history on this. Several years ago, XP Pen switched over to what they call their X3 technology. And truth be told, I wasn't the biggest fan in the world. 
What I was finding on those new pens is that I was getting a lot of wiggle and jitter on these slow angled lines. Now I see a tiny bit of wave while I'm using it here, but overall I feel like this particular iteration of this pen has really improved on it. This is on par with what I see on Huion tablets. This is on par with what I saw with the Sense Labs tablet that I reviewed a few weeks ago. And I think this is totally acceptable. As you can see, the lines do have some wiggle if you look into them. But if I move the smoothing up to like 7 or 8% and draw my slow angled lines, I could pretty much wipe that out. On older XP pen tablets, like ones that have come out in the last year, year and a half, I was having to move that closer to 20%. And when you do that, what you start to get is some real line warping when you're doing kind of fast lines. At these lower smoothing settings, you're, you're not going to get that. You're going to get a more natural line. So I really have enjoyed my time drawing with this pen. And even though what XP pen is championing here with this new pen is that 16,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. I think the real star of the show here is just the fact that they've really smoothed out these lines quite a bit. Now, what about that pressure? Um, I've said this in videos before. I think the pressure is a little bit overblown. If I draw as light as I possibly can, I can get a very light line. And then as I apply more pressure, I feel like the pressure curve feels really good. But I also felt like the pressure curve was really good on XP pens, last pens too. Uh, so I'm not noticing like a huge jump forward here. It's really hard to tell for me personally. And the pressure doesn't really blow out anywhere, right? Like if I want to draw a circle, you know, I could vary my line weights a little bit and it's not going to blow out. I'm not having a hard time controlling this at all. Those are some of the things I'm looking for. And overall, I think this pen is doing a very good job. So what do I think of this tablet? You know, it's solid. It, it's good for the price that you're paying for it. It's it's a nice design. They've included all of the features that you expect. Some of the newer features I don't think are that big a deal. Like that pressure sensitivity. I'm glad they can do that now. That's a cool thing to have now that they could do it, but it's it's not like that killer feature that you absolutely need. Like all of XP Pen's products, I wish the wave wasn't quite as strong here. It just takes a little too much smoothing to knock that out. I prefer what Wacom's doing. I prefer what Huion's doing. I'm currently testing a Sense Lab tablet at the same time that I'm testing this. That's a little bit better as well. But overall, this is a good price for a good product, and I think a lot of people are going to like it. What do you think? Let me know down below. In the But overall, for the price, a really solid product. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you in a couple of days.